Hello everyone, this is going to be a tarot reading for the sign of Taurus for June 2021. So please tell me about Taurus. Taurus in love in June 2021. What's the situation for Taurus in love in the month of June 2021? Taurus. Taurus in June 2021 in love. All right. So, although it's a love reading, what you get here as the main energy is an energy more oriented towards finances and the practicalities of life. You've got an emperor here in the middle. Uh, this could be you if if you're a male Taurus watching this, or um, it could be the person you're dealing with for for a female. It's the energy of a male. An older male, older meaning over the age of 40, but I would see them more, more around 50 or 60. They could also be your boss, although I did ask for um, a love, you know, what's going on in love for Taurus. But, you know, perhaps uh, your finances and the fact that um, you aren't getting paid on time is actually affecting your love life, right? Because you've got the four of pentacles here which is a card of not doing well with money and finances are tight but you've also got the ace of uh, pentacles here so you do need this money and i do think that this money is going to come to you perhaps from this person from this emperor all right so let's see what are this person's feelings towards taurus please tell me what are this person's feelings towards Taurus? This person Taurus is dealing with. What are their feelings towards um, Taurus? All right. So um, this person is waiting right now uh, because they want to make a very good decision when it comes to this relationship especially a decision that comes from their reason because you've got the king of swords here uh this is a person uh, it could be an air sign but it could simply signify a person who makes decision uh, coming from a logical point of view um they're not influenced by anything else you know by their feelings by no no, this person uh, sees things for what they really are and um, tries to look at them from that perspective. And I think that perhaps this person is feeling that some time is needed here and this uh, connection with you. Um, the King of Swords could also be an energy of someone who is sharp. Someone who cuts out people easily out of their life. So it's possible that some of you might even be dealing with the person that decided to put this um, connection on hold for the time being because their reason told them that that is what they should do and they weren't afraid to take action. And perhaps they have this mentality that um, time, time heals everything. We'll see. We'll see in time what happens. Okay. So let's see. What are the challenges here? In this relationship between Taurus and this person. What are the problems? What are the obstacles here? What are the challenges here for Taurus in this connection? Okay, money again. Money. Quite possibly also a child. And if one of you has a child, if there's a child here involved... Um, it could be that the financial priorities of the person who has the child are, of course, oriented towards, uh, towards the child. And, um, perhaps they, they don't, they can't afford, uh, right now a relationship as well. All right. But I see a child here and money, okay, being as the problem. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is also a card of the family. Perhaps you're dealing with someone who actually has a family and they haven't um, ended that relationship yet. 
all right so um yeah let's pull out some more cards what are this person's intentions towards taurus please tell me what are this person's intentions towards taurus yeah they don't know what to do they're heartbroken over this connection with you but they don't know what to do and they don't know if they should give this another go the world card is a card of uh you know a new chapter but they don't know if they should start this new chapter although they are hurting um it's not just you who is longing for this person or thinking about them no they're they're also thinking about you but they're just confused with what to do I do think that you're probably involved with someone who is married and has children or, um, you know, they have a serious commitment towards, uh, towards uh, something else. And because of that, they made the rational decision to distance themselves from this connection with you, especially because of the financial aspect um, of this. They would not be able to afford both their obligations and this relationship with you right and right now they're confused about giving this another go starting this again right you're on hold now this connection is on hold now but they don't know if um if they want to resume it so let's see the outcome what's going to happen in the future in the future, by the end of the month of June, between Taurus and this person they're dealing with. What's going to happen by the end of June between Taurus and this person? All right, so I do see um, happiness here and success after a loss the five of cups here is a card of sadness and regret over something that was lost and what was lost was that this woman whoever it is that's uh, watching this right if you're if you're a male or a female it's like this this a male is sad over the loss of this woman uh, or a woman is sad over her loss of this connection but in the end by the end of june there's going to be success here things are going to be uh, overcome the difficulties are going to be overcome you're going to see that um these problems are going to be solved uh, I, although they look they they look quite bad now taurus to be honest but um somehow i do think that this person you know they made this rational decision about you but perhaps it was for them to have a clear head to to establish a clear direction in their mind the, um, about what they need to do and i do think this person is going to make some good decisions because look at this in the end success so you know maybe you should trust trust the process <laughs> taurus because it looks like the the outcome is going to be positive okay so let's see what these other cards have to add here please tell me about taurus what more can you tell me about um this situation for taurus what more can you add to this story for taurus what more can you tell me about taurus yeah a loss of stability i do think that the connection between the two of you was pretty stable or at least someone had the intention of it being stable but it was lost the stability was lost i do think that um i'm, I'm seeing it quite clearly those of you who are watching this reading you're you're, you're not in you know involved right now with this person there's been a, a breakup and or at least a period of um waiting right but um you're you're not involved with them right now but i do see messages look what you've got after the words messages so let's see what these other cards have to add please tell me more about taurus 
more about Taurus. What more can you add to this story for Taurus? For Taurus, please tell me about Taurus. Mm. Wow, I see some arguments here, some loss, some confusion, and something being cut out of the life. I don't think that this King of Swords is an actual air sign. I think it simplifies, uh, it, it signifies that someone cut this connection. Yeah, you're, you're, you're definitely experiencing a breakup right now. And it was over difficulties and uncertainty. Um, yeah, so um, this 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 card of the clouds is mirroring this two of swords. I was convinced I had the two of swords here. I was looking for it, and I'm like, where is it? Here it is. Yeah, uncertainty in their intentions. Yeah, they don't know what to do. Exactly, they don't know what to do right now. Because of the difficulties, and I do think there were some arguments too here. I didn't get it in the other cards, but I do get it now. All right. And after the, these arguments, I think someone asked the other person to make up their mind. And the, the other one said, I can't. I can't right now. I'm too confused. I don't know what to do. And they're like, okay, then it's over. Right after this discussion, this uh, discussion where, where this person didn't get a clear answer, uh, whoever it was, maybe you or them, um, then um, you decided to break up. All right. So uh, that was what I'm getting here for you, for you, Taurus. Um, I'm going to continue this reading in the extended video on Vimeo, where I'm going to ask, let's see what I should ask. I'm going to ask, why is the, the um, Ten of Pentacles here a challenge? Yeah, to see if it's actual money or if it's a family matter and what is the problem in this family here. I'm also going to ask why this person is so confused. What do they have to think about so much? I'm going to ask about the six of wands. What is this with this success in the end? And about this letter, this message that I think you're going to receive from, uh, from this person. Let's see what they're going to tell you. And I'm also going to pull out some cards for some advice for you. What it is that you should do about this connection. Okay, so uh, you can find the link to the video, uh, to the extended video in the description box. It costs $2. And now let's move on and do a quick spread. Let's make some room here. Make a quick spread for the singles. And afterwards, we can see what surprises you're going to have this month. So please tell me about the Tauruses who are single. The Tauruses who are completely single, not dealing with anyone. What can they expect in the month of June? The Tauruses who are single. What can they expect in the month of June? Yeah, I think the Tauruses who are single are actually still longing for someone. You're not over this past connection that you've had with someone uh, but this connection is on hold right now it's very similar message to the to the earlier spread uh, that I got so right now I think that you're in a period when you haven't spoken with this person in a really long time and nothing is getting off the ground you've got the eight of swords here then nothing is picking up I think this is at a stalemate for sure single Tauruses and you're still not over this uh, this uh, person um, let's get some advice for you what should Taurus do to find someone new in their life what should Taurus do to find someone new a new lover what should Taurus do
look at this Taurus I do think you have some potential there already in your life I do think both for the male and the female Taurus is watching this there are some options for the males I particularly see uh, an earth sign woman and for the females uh, um, a water sign man you could definitely be with this person and I do think the connection would be good the two of cups we've got the two of cups here but you have to get your head out of your ass sorry i don't mean to be rude but um get over this person from the past because there's nothing going on here uh, with them look for alternatives look for other options and i think those options are already in your life Taurus. but you're just not seeing them okay so that was it that was the short reading for the singles now let's pull out some messages from these cards to see what your surprise is going to be this month so i'm going to make three piles with three different messages and you're going to have to choose one so please tell me about taurus what's their surprise this month in the month of june what is their surprise what's coming towards taurus unexpectedly in the month of June, what's their surprise? So, the first group, the second, and the third. So, go ahead and pick one using your intuition. All right, so the Tauruses who have chosen the first group. Wow, look at this. How beautiful. <laughs> I see a blonde woman here. She might not be blonde. You know, it's a general reading over the internet. But I see this uh, as a blonde person uh, for many of you. Uh, this is a person who, when she speaks, she knows how to say the right thing. things. This person definitely has the gift of gab, <laughs> so to say. I do think that you're going to receive a letter or, you know, letter communication, let's say. Uh, this usually signifies a letter. You got the letter there over um, as well. So I do think that there's going to be communication between you and this person. And it's possible that um, this person might invite you to their home. I see you going to a home that's not yours. So it's probably theirs. To visit this person so you're probably going to receive an invitation from them all right um but mm, well, i see happiness you're going to have a good time the only mm, small red flag so to say that i see about this person is what i said in the beginning they're definitely someone who tells you the right things it's up to you <laughs> to use your judgment and see if that's you know i'm not i'm not seeing it uh, as someone who has bad intentions or anything but you know how much can you trust someone who always says the right things you know life isn't rosy always all right so for the second um, group of tauruses wow you've also got here some very nice cards um in your case i see some happiness involving um a brunette man who is going to come to your house, who is going to be a guest in your house. Okay, so for the first group, I saw them as being guests in the other person's house. In your, in your case, I see them coming to yours. This person has genuine feelings of love towards you. You can believe that this person actually loves you, Taurus. And the communication between you is going to be very good. You're going to have a very good time together. So you're really going to be happy about this. Um, if it's not about a love connection, but I, I definitely see it most strongly as a lover. But if it's not about a love connection, then this is someone who, you know, a friend of yours, a relative. But there's someone who has genuine feelings for you, right? And so expect them in your house. Now, let's see the message for the third group of Tauruses. Now, in uh, in your case, I'm, I'm picking up here about someone who secretly desires you. There is a person who loves you, 
in secret and I see them as someone from afar. This person is, doesn't live in the same location as you. Well, what I can tell you is that there's going to be a meeting between the two of you. So whoever it is that's going to contact you from a distance, from afar, and is going to invite you to go out or something, you might be completely oblivious about this person's feelings about you. So you can be, oh, now, now that, that person is not in love with me. Now that's crazy. We're just friends. Think about it. Think about it a bit more. Whoever it is that you're going to receive an invitation from, think about it. Hey, could it actually be possible that this person has a secret crush on me? As crazy as it might sound. All right. So let's see now what messages from spirit I can get for you. So I'm going to pull out three and you're going to have to choose one. So please tell me about Taurus. What does Taurus need to hear right now? Taurus, what does Taurus need to hear right now? The first message. What does Taurus need to hear right now? The second message. And what does Taurus need to hear right now? The third message. Okay, so go ahead and pick one using your intuition. All right, so let's see. For those of you who have chosen the first message, it says, let your voice be heard. All right, so um, if it's about communication, if it's about reaching out to someone, if it's simply about expressing your point of view, this is not the time to stay silent, Taurus. You have to speak out. You have to find the courage in yourself to make them know about you and what it is that you want. Now, let's see the second message. <laughs> I caught feelings like a damn amateur. <laughs> All right, so... Um, Taurus, it might be that some connection you might have had with someone was something completely out of character for you. You might have acted in this connection in a way that um, you wouldn't normally act. Yeah, well, that's how it is sometimes. So some people just get into our hearts <laughs> and we just completely lose it. All right? Okay. But I, I do think like this with this message, perhaps you are a bit upset with yourself for, you know, wearing your heart on, the, on, uh, on your sleeve. So and let, now let's see the third message. It's not the time to conform to others' standards or expectations. Very similar to the first message. Let your voice be heard. So Taurus, think about it, what it is that you want what it is that would be most convenient and suitable for you and keep your standards high don't lower them to please someone else or simply because it would be more convenient for someone else but would it be convenient for you okay so that was it that was the reading i hope it was helpful i hope it gave you some insight into into your situation um, please give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to watch more of my videos. Write me comments below because I always enjoy uh, hearing about how these um, readings resonate with you. Um, I wish you good luck uh, in your connection. And I'll see you again in my next videos. Bye for now.